There's a piece of advice I was given in the early stages of my legal career that I have never forgotten and which proved to be the most useful piece of advice I had ever been given. There is no mistake that you can make that I cannot fix. I want you to spend your time and energy looking for solutions to this problem, coming up with creative approaches, and not spending your time and energy terrified about what's gonna happen if you make a mistake. Now the good and the bad thing about good advice is that it requires life experience in order to acquire. Good advice also requires life experience in order to fully appreciate. Kierkegaard famously wrote that life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Even if I could have appreciated the advice at the time, it required the life experience that came afterwards in order to fully understand. Take this deposition, can you make this oral argument? Can you take the lead on this client pitch? And every voice in your head is screaming, absolutely not, I have no idea what I'm doing, I don't know the facts well enough, I don't know the case well enough, I don't know the arguments well enough. And the best thing you can do in these situations is to just take a deep breath and say yes. Say yes first and then figure out how to do it later. And that's not to say that the voices in your head are completely incorrect. You may have no idea what you're doing. You may have never done this before. You may be totally scared, but you are an intelligent human being. You are a hard worker, and hopefully you are surrounded by other intelligent human beings, and you will figure it out. You just will. You will be surprised at how just like everything else, you will figure this out. But you might not always get another opportunity like this. And if you do, it might not come for months or years. And so the answer is always to go ahead and take the opportunity. And the best part about these type of situations is usually they happen at a last moment's notice, on a very short deadline. And so the bar for performance is set so much lower. And so if you blow it out of the water, it will be that much more impressive. And if you don't do as well as you would have liked to perform, you have the backup of saying, hey, if I had had more time to prepare, it would have been even better. And so you really are entering into a win-win situation. And regardless of how it comes out, it is infinitely easier to have somebody ask you to do something again once you've done something once. Because now you are knowledgeable, now you have a background, now you are proven, and you will get these opportunities more and more often. So this is a difficult profession, it's going to be a long career, and you cannot judge yourself solely based on wins and losses. Unfortunately, when you try cases, just like when you do any sort of important project, there are going to be things that are outside of your control. And this was actually told to us at the end of a trial, no matter how hard you work, no matter how much you prepare, no matter how many things you do right, uh, you can still lose and you can still have an outcome that's not favorable for you. You can be an incredible attorney, things, might still, things still might not go your way um, and that doesn't take anything away from you as a professional.